Arabian Mao Cat The Arabian Mao is a formal breed of domestic cat, originated from the early African wildcat, a short-haired Landris native to the Arabian Peninsula. It lives in the streets of the Arabian Peninsula and has adapted very well to its extreme climate. The Arabian Mao is recognized as a formal breed by few fancier and breeder organization and cat registry, World Cat Federation, WCF, and Emirates Feline Federation, EFF. Based on one Landris, the Arabian Mao is a natural breed. It is medium in size, with a body structure that is rather large and firm, not particularly slender, and with well-developed musculature. The legs are comparatively long, with oval paws. The head appears round, but is slightly longer than broad. The nose is slightly concave curved when viewed in profile. The whisker pads are clearly pronounced, with a slight pinch. The chin is very firm. The eyes are slightly oval, large and slightly slanted. The cat may have any normal cat eye color. There is no relation between the eye and coat colors. Usually, Arabian mouse have bright green eyes. The ears are large, slightly forward and sideward placed, a little long, and high set on the skull. While Arabian mouse are not technically hypoallergenic, its low propensity for shedding and dander production may cause lesser reactions in those with mild allergies. History The breed has been a Landris native to the Arabian Peninsula in countries such as Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, Qatar, Oman, and the United Arab Emirates for more than 1,000 years. Desert cats are well adapted to the hot environment of parts of Arabia. Grooming Arabian Mao have short fur without an undercoat and as such, are not high shedders. They are very capable of keeping themselves neatly groomed. This makes grooming for the owner quite easy. While not always necessary, Brushing will remove dead hairs and intensify the beautiful gloss of the coat. Standard Arabian Mao Females are medium-sized and elegant. However, males can be much larger and have muscular bodies. Their legs are long with perfectly oval paws. The tail has medium length with tapering toward the tip. The head appears to be round, but it is slightly longer than broad with well-defined whisker pads. Ears are large and well set. Their eyes are oval and match the coat color. The fur is short and has no undercoat, besides it lying close to the body. The coat should not be silky. The colors can be different, but the most recognized are red, white, black, and brown tabby. The Arabian Malkep breed is a natural breed, so it must reflect the morphology and behavioral features of the cats living on the Arabian Peninsula. The standard has been drafted on the observation and the description of physical characteristics which have been found in the cats of this area average population, originating from the Middle East and in its descendants. No prefixed model has been followed. The Arabian Mao cats were approved by the WCF during the annual general meeting held on August 2 to 3, 2008 in Germany. 
The Arabian Malkats have been able to participate in international shows since January 1, 2009. Arabian Mal Health Arabian Mouse are generally considered to be healthy cats, although, it's important to schedule regular wellness visits with your cat's vet. There aren't any breed-specific health problems associated with the Arabian Mal, but always keep an eye out for signs that your cat might be in distress or pain. Arabian Mal Care The Arabian Mal needs to be an active cat. Definitely invest in a cat tree if you're considering adopting a cat of this breed, and if possible, Make sure that the cat can climb up and down furniture to satiate their innate need to explore. An interactive treat toy is also a must. This is a smart breed who loves to figure out solutions on their own. Along with scheduling yearly wellness vet visits, your Arabian Mao will need to have their nails checked and trimmed on a regular basis. Your vet can show you the best and safest way to do so. Adding a scratching post to your living environment can also help promote healthy scratching and keep the cat's nails in good condition. Beyond nail care, Examine the cat's ears for signs of dirt building up or possible infection every couple of weeks. Also, it's advisable to speak to your regular vet about a teeth brushing regimen that will suit your Arabian Mal. Arabian Mal Coat Color and Grooming The Arabian Mal's coat can come in an array of colors, although combinations of black, white, and brown are most common, often with tabby-style markings. In more rare cases, the cat has been spotted with red coloring making its way into the mix. The Arabian Mao is a short-haired cat whose coat is often described as having a glossy feel to the touch. Grooming requirements are on the low end of the spectrum. Brushing the coat once or twice a week will suffice. Remember that proper brushing will also help ward off the chances of hairballs, along with keeping the kitty's coat clean and healthy. When it comes to climate, the Arabian Mao is generally seen as an adaptable cat that can usually live happily in most climates, Although due to their desert roots, they favor warmer rather than colder conditions. Just remember to always make sure adequate shade and fresh water is provided when the temperature spikes. Children and Other Pets The Arabian Mao is a big hit with children. This is a breed that will quickly form bonds with the kids in their life. Just be sure that early socialization takes place and boundaries are properly set on both sides, and supervise early interactions between kids and cats. When it comes to other household pets, the Arabian Mao is equally as sociable. Although, you'll want to supervise early interactions between the new cat and existing pets. Ultimately, early socialization really pays off with this breed. Make sure to reward your Arabian Mao for good behavior when you bring them home to your family.